What up? Tyler here, TarverAcademy.com, and I want to show you how to solve equations with variables on both sides. Solving equations with variables on both sides. <gasps> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I'm not trying to be cool. Okay. So um, I've got two equations. One's kind of your basic one, and then we've got one that just adds a step. You know, let's add another step. Um, there we go. <laughs> add the steps on steps on steps, like I'm a elliptical or something. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so uh, let's start here. Solving equations, variables on both sides. So hopefully you've done two-step equations, you've done multi-step equations, you've done single-step equations. I did those in weird order. Now we're solving it with variables on both sides. The variable is the letter of the alphabet that's hanging out of which we're trying to find what it equals. So it's like the mystery we're trying to solve. Okay, Scooby. <laughs> that wasn't very good. Let's get started. Okay. So your ultimate goal is to get all of your variables to one side and then all your regular numbers to the other side. All right, so the first thing we do is simplify um, before going across the equal sign. Um, is there anything to simplify here? 6x minus 2? No, because they both don't have a variable, so you can't. Can you simplify this? x plus 13. No, you can't because one is a variable and one doesn't. You can't add or subtract unless they have the same type of variable. Like even 2x plus 2x squared you can't because you've got an x and you've got an x squared. So let's get our x's to the same side and our numbers to the same side. My advice is always get the smaller x, the smaller number with a variable, to the side with the bigger number. Okay? Here we go. 6x, just 1x. This one's smaller, get it over here, okay? So we subtract x, because the opposite of adding x is subtracting. If I do it from that side, I gotta do it from that side. Cancels out there. Six x minus x, six minus one is five x. I'm gonna carry down my negative two, carry down my positive 13. Now I wanna move my regular numbers over there. Now that I've got my x's together, that's step one, get your x's. Well, step one is com you know, combining like terms on that side, but my first step, when I start going across equal signs is to get my x's together. Once I have one variable, I keep saying x, but one variable, then I move all my regular numbers over there. So what's furthest away from your x? The negative two, because the five is like pretty much making out with it. So the opposite of minusing two is adding two. That cancels out, because negative two plus two is zero, it's gone. I'm gonna bring down my five x equals 13 plus two is 15. Now, I've got 5 times x. Remember, you do the opposite. So what's opposite of multiplying times 5? Dividing by 5. Cancels out because 5 divided by 5 is 1, and 1 times x is x. x equals 15 divided by 5, which is 3. I can always check that by plugging that back in up here. 6 times 3 is 18, minus 2 is 16. 3 plus 13 is 16. So I know 16 equals 16. Whew, got it. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, here we go. Next one, this is a little more advanced. Let's work it together, shall we? First thing I wanna do, I wanna simplify what's on the same side, all right? So I'm not even looking over here because there's an equal sign that separates it. I wanna simplify this side. Take care of what's at home first before you go out, all right? First thing I wanna do, what can I combine with 4P? Minus 10? Nope, because this has a variable and this doesn't. 4P plus P? Yep, we can combine those because it's just a variable, no exponents. So I'm gonna make sure I circle the signs, 4P plus P, so I've got four P's, I add one P, that's five P. I'm gonna mark that out so that it doesn't confuse me later. Bring down my minus 10. Now I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Is anything combined with six P? Negative eight does not. Does plus three P? Absolutely, six, plus three is nine, and your p stays there. A lot of people like toss an exponent up there and like, oh, well it's p squared because you add them together. No, exponents mean multiply, something times itself. You didn't do p times p. Goodness, get, your, get it together, okay? It goes away, don't forget about your negative a. Bring it down, okay? Now, now we've got it to where we had it over here, where it's a simpler problem. So like one line worth of steps brings us to like a, a simpler version. Let's work it. Okay, I want to get, and my advice is always get the, the number that's smaller with the exponent to the other side. So that's my step one. Get the smaller exponent over there. 5p and 9p. 5p is smaller. I want to get it over there. So it's positive 5p. To get rid of it, I got to subtract it because you got to do the opposite to go across the equal sign. That's zero now. Do y'all know why 
Think to yourself, why would I want to put the smaller one over there? My reason is, is because if I move the smaller one over there, then I'm going to not have to work with negatives. That you know, anytime you throw a negative in, you're just, you're giving yourself a recipe to mess up. You toss that in, and it could give you a chance to forget about it, leave it around, accidentally multiply wrong. Negatives just adds a step. It's like making something a fraction when you don't have to. Just adds steps that could mess you up later. All right, so that's why I get the smaller one over there. I'm going to bring down everything. Negative 10 equals 9 minus 5 is 4. The P stays the same. They don't mark each other out. Minus 8. Now I just got to get P by itself. So I'm going to add 8 to both sides. Cancels out over here. Negative 10 plus 8 is negative 2. And then I got to divide 4 on both sides. P, I hope you guys can still see that. Negative 2 divided by 4, I can simplify that to negative 1 half. And I can always plug that in up here and work it and see if whatever I got on this side equals what I got on this side. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe. Peace. Oh, hey, it's me, Michael Jordan, Shoemaker. I want you to know that if you don't click that little circle there to subscribe, then uh, you won't ever find your true love. That's a fact. It's like an email letter, email chain letter. If you're not 45 years old, you will not get that joke. Not important. But you click that. Anyways, I'll wait. <laughs>